Good afternoon and welcome. Before we begin, would you please silence all cell phones? Thank you very much. It is very important that parents and relatives here this afternoon hear the name of their sons and daughters as they receive their diploma. Please respect this aspect of the ceremony and hold all applause until all diplomas have been awarded later on. Thank you in advance for understanding. Once again, welcome. We are here today on this very special occasion to celebrate and honor the class of 2024. We are here to showcase our senior class, those that have given so much of themselves these last four years, and those that will prove successful and make their families proud for years to come. As a president and principal at JCA, I've had the distinct opportunity to see these students grow from their freshman year, spiritually, intellectually, and academically. They have lived the mission of the school and have set the standard for our underclassmen as they have created and nurtured tradition. Class of 2024, you should be proud of your accomplishments. You have earned over $12 million in scholarship money. You have provided over 15,000 hours of service. You have excelled in both the academic and athletic arenas, and you have earned ACT scores that have beaten state and national standards in all categories. 99% of you will further your education in college, while some will join the military or workforce. We are forever grateful for your time at JCA, and I'm especially proud of all of you. Seniors, today should be a celebration, and it should be also be a stepping stone to your future, to which I know will be filled with opportunity and reward. I know that you will take all life lessons taught at JCA and thrive in the coming years. Parents, grandparents, guardians, relatives, friends, faculty, staff, administrators, members of the board of members and directors, thank you for joining us this afternoon so that we fittingly honor JCA's finest, the class of 2024. Please allow me to introduce the individuals who serve on our boards and our administration. I would ask that you stand and remain standing until all are introduced. I also let you hold your applause until I have read all names. Sister Jean Bissett, President of the Sisters of St. Francis of Mary Immaculate, Board of Members. Father Carl Markels, Carmelite Prior Provincial, Board of Members. Mr. Max Ziesmer, Chair of the Board of Directors. Father Jack Welsh, OCARM, Board of Members. Sister Barb Kukowski, Board of Directors. Brother Larry Fidelis, OCARM, Board of Directors. Mr. William Basie, Board of Directors. Mr. Ken Mihalich, Board of Directors. Ms. Nicole Murray, Board of Directors. Mr. Scott Zerkes, Board of Directors. Mr. Jeff Raza, Board of Directors. Please join me acknowledging them with a round of applause. <laughs> Remaining members on the platform assembly include our administration. Ms. Charlotte Tortorillo, Chief Financial Officer. Ms. Laura Paul, Associate Principal. Mrs. Susie Arnett, Dean of Students. Mr. Jim O'Brien, Athletic Director. Mrs. Lakeisha Cameron, Director of Diversity and Inclusion. Please acknowledge, please don't be acknowledging them with a round of applause. <laughs> Next, I would ask our faculty and staff of Joliet Catholic Academy to stand so we may acknowledge your efforts in leading these young men and women to, to the success we celebrate this afternoon. Our faculty and staff, please rise. It is now my privilege to call upon Sister Jean Bissett for our opening prayer. Please stand and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance, which will follow the prayer. Class of 2024, <clears throat> for the last four years of your life, as students of Joliet Catholic Academy, you have probably prayed a thousand prayers. But the ones you have said most often is right up there. Our Lady of Mount Carmel, Pray for us. St. Francis of Assisi. Pray for us. Our prayer for you today is based on those words that can sometimes be just words. As you graduate today, we pray that the meaning contained in these words will continue to enter into each of your minds and hearts. We pray that Our Lady of Mount Carmel is the example and reminder that each of you truly is a son and daughter of the God who loves you, and that you continue to be sister and brother to one another, and that you see all people as your sister and brother. We also pray that St. Francis of Assisi is the example and reminder that each of us is called to be a peacemaker, 
and that you see every form of God's creation, humans, creatures, all that grows and sustains life, even those you imagine to be your enemies, as beloved by God, and therefore as your sister and brother. Our Lady of Mount Carmel, St. Francis of Assisi, and let us all continue to walk from here as sisters and brothers. Amen. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. At this time, I ask that Mr. Scott Allgood come to the stage for the introduction of our salutatorian. <clears throat> when discussing this year's salutatorian, Tristan Paul, it is easy to observe the obvious qualities his intelligence, nay, I might even say his brilliance, is easily seen in his 5.09 GPA on a weighted 4.0 scale, along with a plentiful amounts of certificates and medals earned in a variety of classes throughout his four years. Tristan's academic achievements include membership into the National French Honor Society, National English Honor Society, and the National Honor Society. His willingness to get involved and to try new things is observed through his many activities. Over his four years, he has participated on the tennis team, the track and field team, and the cross country team, earning recognition as captain of cross country his senior year. Aside from athletics, Tristan has joined the math team for all four years, the economics club, the engineering club, the guitar club, and the key club. Many of these teams and clubs he joined with an open mind and a heart willing to attempt new things as he often had no prior experience, just a desire to venture into new areas in order to develop as a complete person. I have been blessed to teach Tristan two of his four years at JCA, sophomore honors English and senior AP English, and been amazed by his growth certainly in his intelligence and confidence, but mostly in his personality. To me, Tristan represents all of the greatest qualities of the entire graduating class of 2024. As a sophomore, while the promise and the intellect were obvious, he was concerned, as most underclassmen are, about his own achievements, isolating himself to stand above and apart from others, as every underclassman wants to be the star. The one, the one recognized above all others, the one that the entire team revolves around. However, as Tristan and this entire graduating class have learned, true greatness comes from working together. From placing priorities, sacrificing and appreciating the talents that each individual offers. It seems nearly weekly, a new team is marching through the halls, celebrating its success and heading to state exemplifying this understanding of what it takes to work together. While athletes on a field or a court learn their roles, how to contribute to the, to the team's success, in a classroom setting, true knowledge is gained from pooling intelligence and experience to gain a better understanding. It has been a wonder to watch Tristan grow in confidence, not only academically, as he has always been gifted in that arena but in his presentation of himself to his classmates. Those of you who had me in sophomore English might remember the analogy that I used to say. I would tell you that death is people's second greatest fear in life. What is the greatest fear? Public speaking. And I think Tristan would admit, as many of you would, that speech was probably his least favorite part of the sophomore curriculum. It was a joy to see his self-confidence blossom from someone who was uncomfortable to talk to a class of 20 fellow students, to acting on stage at Shakespeare Fest, 
for over 200 students at a time, performing and memorizing his lines as part of the AP class. To this very day, when he will very soon be speaking to a group of nearly a thousand. And he will handle this task as he does with everything, with aplomb. I have been most impressed in Tristan's growth in these areas, finding balance, placing priorities. And while his ability and his knowledge have always been superb, he has become a better classmate, a bigger person, and an even better friend. All the qualities we cherish in our Angels and Hillman, and so evident in this class of 2024. Tristan has gained a cohesiveness with his classmates and worked together to celebrate his brilliance with others while also accepting the ingenuity that they have to offer to accomplish true greatness. He has ingratiated himself into the class to become a true Hillman of the class of 2024. The knowledge that Tristan has gained in his classes, along with the skills he has developed, humility, patience, prioritization, acceptance, confidence, they have been a blessing to behold. I have been lucky to work with him and to learn at times from him myself in class. And as he heads off to the Purdue School of Engineering, a truly daunting and challenging venue, I know that Tristan will be successful not only due to his impressive intellect, but also because of his ability to work with others, learn from and appreciate them, and prioritize what needs to be done. Purdue will feel just as blessed as J.C. Avis to have Tristan a part of their community as he continues to strive to greatness in his life and in all his achievements. It is my pleasure to introduce to you the class of 2024 salutatorian Tristan Paul. Thank you, Mr. Allgood, for that wonderful introduction. It's going to be hard to live up to that. Good afternoon, everyone. It is an honor to be giving this speech before you today. This certainly wasn't easy getting to this point. I'd like to, of course, thank my parents and family for always for, for providing me with this education and always being here to support me in all my endeavors. I'd also like to, of course, thank our faculty and staff for working so hard under sometimes not the best conditions to prepare us and to help develop us into the people that we are now. To start, I'd like to recite a quote from an anonymous person. It goes something like this. The dead receive more flowers than the living because regret is stronger than gratitude. Sad, isn't it? But it's true. Oftentimes, we become so fixated on moving forward in life without stopping to appreciate what we have in the moment before it's too late. Now, I know I just started speaking here today, but I'd like to ask a favor from all of you, my classmates. Go and give someone a flower today. Go and show that person your appreciation and love for them before you're off on your own these next few short months. Show that person just how much you care about them before it is too late. And so, with that said, to show my appreciation for a select few people, I'd like to do something just a little bit different. I apologize in advance for the embarrassment, but I'd like to personally call out a select few of people who made my time at high school just that, just that much more worth it. First, Bobby Stranowski. Hi, Bobby, I see you back there. <laughs> Words cannot express how grateful I am that we met in Mr. Morissette's homeroom sophomore year. I remember how we would sit and talk about playing cards while you would occasionally turn and click next on the driver's ed videos. From going to the football games with you and talking about music and guitar, to those late night drives to McDonald's, to crashing in Jimmy's basement and drinking all of his Arizonas. Sorry, not sorry, Jimmy. Uh, <laughs> it's been an absolute blast with you. I know you're, you're like a brother to me, Bobby, and I'm going to continue to stick by your side and see begins to annoy me. It's not for too long. Just kidding. Thank you, Bobby. Next up, Tyler Dixon. He's somewhere. Hi, Dixon. Uh, I have to say, out of anybody here, I feel like you deserve being up here more than I do. You are incredibly intelligent. Watching you work in computer science and calculus here made me jealous, just a little bit, not going to lie. Your intuitive way of thinking makes me confident that you're going to do great things in the future. 
and I can't wait to hear all I, I can't wait to hear all about it. You are always a person who I could just hang out with and talk to about our interests, whether it be about video games or shows we like watching, or whether it be listening to me or listening to you rant about things such as your terrible job at Chipotle. And I can't thank you enough for that. It was always interesting and fun seeing you go from your relatively introverted self to your outgoing attitude at football games once, when one time you took off your shirt while I was hailing outside and you painted white body paint all over yourself. I see you, you're laughing right there. <laughs> you made my time at high school just that much better. Thank you, Tyler. And last but certainly not least, Mr. Jack Moberg. Sup, Jack? I know a lot of times it seems like I'm really annoyed with you, but I promise you I'm not. It's just a bit hard sometimes handling all of your energy. You gotta cut back on the coffee, dude, I'm telling you. <laughs> just kidding. Seeing you especially this year in calculus showing the passion that you have for math Makes me, or makes me hope to be passionate about the things I love as well, just, just as you are. And in doing so, I hope to get that dedication, interest, and enjoyment from the things that I uh, love to do, just like you do for computer science or for professional sports teams or history. I always look up to you because of that. You always made me laugh in our computer science class, junior year, sorry, Mr. Jones, and I always had a great time sitting next to you in French government and econ. You're probably the first friend I made here, and I couldn't think of a better person to have made friends with first at JCA. Thank you, Jack. But, well, we did it. We made it. After four years of hard work, we're all here in our cap and gowns, able to graduate high school. Finally, right? However, if I were to come up here and speak to you all about our futures and talk about where we're going to be six, to, six months to a year from now, I'd be lying to all of you. I'd be lying to myself. We all have a plan for where we're going to be in, in however, however much time from here, but anything can happen between now and then. That's how life is, full of twists and turns, fortunate and equally unforeseeable. We all have a goal in mind for our future, but the future is uncertain. While we cannot change the past, we should especially focus on the present. Because it is in appreciating what we have now and developing and caring for what we currently have that those uncertainties that concern our futures become ever less so. Right? If we didn't work hard so hard in the moment to studying for our semester finals or working hard to keep up our grades in the moment, most of us probably wouldn't be going to the college as we are now. And as I said with the quote about the flowers, our futures would be filled with regret if we didn't appreciate our friends and the time we spent together throughout these four years. Because I don't know about you all, but life with regret is not life at all. So I hope you all, in taking the time to appreciate what we had in high school and in going to those football and volleyball games in our hill zone to lie in the hallways to send off our state qualifying sports or even to something small like the Friendsgiving we had back in November. I hope you all can look back without regret that you can fully and confidently say that you were grateful for what you had in the present. And so with all that said, I'd like to ask one more thing from you, all my classmates, and that is to go and enjoy the summer. And of course, that doesn't mean to push off anything you have to get done for college or anything like orientation or any of that. Of course, do that. But now, in celebrating the victories and the hardships we all went through these past four years with our graduation, go out and be happy. Enjoy this last summer before we're off in the real world, as scary as that sounds. Go and appreciate the present before you're forced to look back and see that you didn't. And so with all that said, I wish the best for you all in the years to come. I know you will all aspire to do great things. Thank you, and go Hill. Thank you, Tristan. At this time, I'll call up Mr. Tyler Akel to announce our valedictorian. Thank you, Dr. Buds. I'd like to start by congratulating all of the Angels and Hilltoppers here today. I am privileged to have had so many of you in class over the past four years. I'd also like to thank Jordan for the opportunity to introduce her as this year's valedictorian. For those of you that don't know Jordan well, I'd like to share with you some of her accomplishments. During her time here at JCA, Jordan has served as the president of the National Honor Society, president of the National Spanish Honor Society, an officer for Mu Alpha Theta, and a member of the National English Honor Society. Jordan has also been named the Scholar Athlete of the Year, an Illinois State Scholar, and an AP Scholar. Not only has Jordan found great success in the classroom, but also outside the classroom. Jordan has played softball, ran for the track team, where she just competed in the four by eight at state, and was a two-time state qualifier and senior captain for the cross country team. 
Everything Jordan has been able to achieve is great, but I would like to talk about who Jordan is. I have been fortunate to know Jordan since her eighth grade year, and she was a part of our eighth grade math and science program. Typically, the eighth graders start off as a quiet group because they are intimidated by being in a class with students from so many different schools and being in a high school inside of their smaller grade schools. This did not hold true for Jordan, who from the start of the year was engaged both in asking questions and answering questions. It was clear that Jordan was on a great trajectory for her high school career. Then in March of her eighth grade year, we were all sent home for the rest of the year due to COVID. To the best of our ability, we kept class normal. There were daily videos with lessons, homework, and I even gave a test or two. This was the time where a lot of students relaxed a bit and took some time off from school, but not Jordan. I would get Teams chats and the occasional Teams call because Jordan had some questions. Not only was Jordan still working through her math diligently, but I know she was watching the videos I posted because a few years later, Jordan came into school laughing at a Snapchat memory of me holding up a particular finger while I was explaining something. Despite this unfortunate slip of the finger, it was great to see that Jordan was indeed uh, putting in time towards her school during the COVID shutdown. It was a, four short, a short four years later where I would have Jordan again in AP Calculus. While a lot had changed since the last time she walked into my classroom as a student, Jordan's work ethic and desire to learn and better herself remained the same. Despite all the distractions that senior year holds, especially at the end of the year with the AP test approaching, Jordan was able to keep her focus and hold herself to the high standard that she knew she could hold up to. In addition to her academic success, Jordan also showed a comfort level that did not exist in eighth grade. I am sure some of this is because she was not suddenly in a new, bigger school with a bunch of peers that she did not know, but I also think that's because Jordan was more confident in her abilities in the classroom and had learned a lot about how to best prepare and work through a tough class. We covered Jordan's questions like when to put plus C after taking an integral, or what it actually means when I say the slope of the slope after the hundredth time. But we also covered important topics like when to know if a joke eats or not, or if the high five prior to class was good enough, or if we should do it over again. It has been a true joy to see Jordan grow in her role as a leader, and I'd like to end this speech as I started it, by thanking Jordan, this time for all of her hard work and dedication in class over the last five years. Please help me in welcoming our 2024 valedictorian, Jordan Reeves. Hello families, faculty and staff, and my fellow graduates. I'm honored to be standing up here today as the class of 2024 valedictorian. Before I thank some very important people, I would like to congratulate my classmates on this wonderful achievement. This is truly the start of an amazing journey for all of us. First of all, I would like to thank Mr. Akel not only for his thoughtful words, but more importantly, for his endless support throughout my time here at JCA. He started my educational experience here at JCA during my eighth grade year in Algebra I, and I was fortunate enough to complete my time here in his calculus class. Mr. Akel has been a great mentor and role model for me, not only as a teacher, but also as a person outside the classroom. He has even gotten me to laugh at math memes, which is something I never thought I'd admit. I'm so thankful for the role that he has played in my high school education, and I'll sure miss all the snacks you allowed me to eat in your class. Along with Mr. Eichel, I want to thank all of the teachers here at JCA. I think I could speak for the whole class of 2024 when I say that each teacher has made a significant impact on each of our lives. Whenever anyone asks what my favorite part of JCA is, I always say the teachers, and, I'm, and I mean it. The relationships and bonds that every single teacher strives to have with us students is truly something special. For example, Mr. Clark knows when one of us just needs a chocolate to get through the day and he notices that because he cares. He and all the other teachers here at JCA have truly shown us what it's like to be fully supported academically as well as mentally. Alongside these amazing teachers, we can always count on the support of the whole counseling department. 
being able to walk down that hallway and be greeted by every single counselor has had such a great impact on us students during both the good and the bad days. Next, I would like to take some time to thank my family for supporting me th throughout these past four years, and more importantly, my parents for the wonderful opportunity they have provided for me to attend a school like Joliet Catholic Academy. You both have opened up so many possibilities for me because of your sacrifices, and I truly owe this accomplishment to the dedication and trust you both have put into my success. Your endless efforts have resulted in a home filled with support, love, and hard work. Thank you for believing me when I was in doubt, pushing me at times when I felt unmotivated, and for loving me unconditionally. In different ways, you both have provided me with a model in which I hope to mirror my future. Now, onto my fellow classmates. Thank you all. One day, I was sitting in campus ministry, and Ms. Farrow and I were talking about how I was planning on going about this speech and what all I wanted to say to my class of 2024. I remember her asking if I was grateful for them. I thought it sounded like a silly question at the time because obviously I'm thankful for all of you guys, my close friends, my classmates, teammates, everyone. But not only am I thankful for all the memories we have made, I'm also thankful for all the accomplishments and effort we have contributed that define who we are, which is a class that sends so many teams and individuals to state that our hands get tired of clapping so much at the celebrations, a class that can fill a room at Honor Society inductions, a class that truly cares about each and every person's success, and a class who makes me feel loved as I walk through these halls here at JCA. This class of 2024 is not a normal class. We didn't have a true four-year high school experience like most classes do. Unfortunately, because of COVID, we missed out on almost all of our freshman year. The summer mixer, freshman orientation, in-person classes, homecoming and the black and white dance, and many more. Many of us were forced to create friendships with our new classmates through a screen. So looking at us now, all the accolades and successes, it's an incredibly great achievement to be in, here in this gym today, celebrating our high school graduation in person without masks or distance, just one big JCA family. As I was scrolling through quotes that I could use to convey my overall message of the speech, I found one that I had never seen before and that truly stuck out to me. And don't worry, it's not the basic Dr. Seuss one that you guys always hear, but it reads, life is ironic. It takes stress to understand calm, it takes sadness to know happiness, and most importantly, it takes absence to value presence. I like this quote so much because I feel that all of our experiences here at JCA can be categorized into the different sentences. In the moment, Mrs. Scheibe's English tests or the speeches in Mr. Allgood's class were quite stressful, or memorizing Supreme Court cases for government wasn't very fun. But now that that's all over, we can finally appreciate the calm and the success we feel having gotten through all those tough obstacles that once seemed impossible. As we've been leading up to this point, we have experienced some laughs with our friends and our fellow classmates. The last class mass, last day of wearing a uniform, the last school dance, the last day of school, or even the last time we may step foot in these halls. In my opinion, these events, with the exception of wearing a uniform, are sad moments for us seniors. One by one, as each of them passed, they showed us that we were one day closer to one more last, which is us being all together as a class today. Some may be happy to move on to a new chapter in life and some not, but no matter your feelings for the future, there is no denying the idea that leaving JCA brings a sad feeling. However, despite the sadness we may feel thinking about all the memories we have made with our friends, teachers, and more during our time here at JCA, we can find happiness in the fact that we have created such inseparable bonds with each other. We can appreciate the relationships we now have because of our time spent here at JCA. All good things will eventually come to an end, and that is the reality we are facing now. Lastly, it takes absence to value presence. We are finally experiencing what it feels like to be done. We won't see each other in the halls anymore or spend multiple classes with our friends. Most of us won't see each other again after today, but that is just a part of life. We have all been a part of each other's experiences these past four years, and now it's time to use the lessons we have learned and apply them to our lives after high school 
wherever we may go. As we will soon realize, the absence of this close-knit community here at JCA will feel weird, especially for me. But in order to appreciate everyone and see the impact that we've made on each other's lives, we must experience what it's like to leave everyone. So with that, congratulations to the class of 2024. We finally did it. As Winnie the Pooh once said, how lucky I am to have something that makes saying goodbye so hard. Thank you. Thank you, Jordan. <clears throat> and now the main reason for this commencement. I would ask that Mrs. Christine Scheibe and Mr. Scott Allgood take the microphone and begin the announcing of graduates for their diplomas. Claire Isabella Adamson, Joliet Junior College. Marcelo Angelo Aguilar, Romeoville Fire Academy. Tyler Alex Alcazar, North Central College, North Central Dean Scholarship. Griffin Matthew Alessio, Western Kentucky University, Western Kentucky Academic Merit Scholarship. Catherine Ann Ochong Araneta, Benedictine University. Benedictine Academic Scholarship, Admitted Student Day Award, Catholic High School Award, James Hasdra Scholarship, Benedictine Grant. That's my sister. <laughs> Darian Alejandro Ortega, North Central College, North Central Dean Scholarship, North Central Alumni Scholarship. Joseph Roman Augustiniak, Joliet Junior College. John Anthony Baltz, the University of Missouri, Mark Twain Award, Level One. Brooklyn Lee Baranowski, United States Marines. Tess Christine Bibar, Miami University Oxford Red Hawk Excellence Scholarship. Shea Juwan Bishop, North Central College, 2028 Achievement Scholarship, Air Force ROTC. Lindsay Kristen Black, Marquette University, Pair Marquette Scholarship, Magis Campus Residential Scholarship, Mr. and Mrs. Frederick W. Schmidt Sr. and Minnie Kuhn Scholarship. Claire Elise Blotnick, Loyola University, Loyola Presidential Scholarship, Catholic Heritage Award, Chamber of Commerce Scholarship, Mr. and Mrs. Frederick W. Schmidt Sr. and Minnie Kuhn Scholarship. Alvin Adetutu Bofa, University of Illinois Chicago, UIC PAP Scholarship. Alana Jordan Bradley, Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University Dean Scholarship, Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University Woman of Scholar Excellence Scholarship. Johanna Elizabeth Brummond, Western Michigan University Bronco Merit Scholarship. Amelia Margaret Cameron, Western Kentucky University, Western Kentucky Academic Merit Scholarship, Border State Scholarship. Madison Gloria Casford, Carthage College, Carthage College Full Ride Nursing Tuition Scholarship. David Castellanos, Joliet Junior College. Nathan James Sirletti, Joliet Junior College. Emma Elizabeth Cogley, Western Kentucky University, Border State Scholarship. 
Antoinette Marie Calafello, Lewis University, Lewis University Presidential Scholarship, Catholic High School Scholarship. Lily Kate Kahn, Augustana University, Augustana Founders Scholarship. Maxwell Jesus Corral, United States Merchant Marine Academy. Connor Patrick Cumbie, Bellarmine University, Bellarmine Merit Scholarship. Frank Anthony Kerbis, University of St. Francis, Trustee Scholarship, Catholic School Scholarship, Baseball Athletic Scholarship. Miles Edward Zerkes, University of Tennessee, the Volunteer Scholarship. Demetrios John Dactylitis, United States Army. Alexander James Dalek, Butler University, Butler Academic Scholarship. Anthony Robert D'Amico, Grand Valley State University, Grand Valley Award for Excellence. Tyler Dean Dixon, University of Central Florida, Pegasus Gold Scholarship, Burnett Honor Scholarship. Patrick Martin Durkin, Tulane University, Football Athletic Scholarship. Christopher David Dvorak, University of St. Francis, Trustee Scholarship, Founders Award, Catholic School Scholarship, Alumni Award, Dean's Enhancement Scholarship. Thomas Martin Dvorak, University of St. Francis, Trustee Scholarship, Founders Award, Catholic School Scholarship, Alumni Award, Dean's Enhancement Scholarship. Ella Grace Dwyer, Eastern Illinois University, Eastern Illinois Merit Scholarship, Soccer Athletic Scholarship. Natalie Catherine Evans, University of Kentucky, Bluegrass Spirit Scholarship. Wrigley Marie Fanter, Lehigh University Softball Athletic Scholarship. Patrick Allen Ferris, University of Kentucky Bluegrass Spirit Scholarship. Juliana Rose Finnegan, University of Missouri. Connor James Flanagan, University of Kentucky Bluegrass Spirit Scholarship, William C. Parker Scholarship. Damian Flores, Eureka College. Roland Anthony Fry, Lawrence University, Football Athletic Scholarship. Alessandra Victoria Garibay, Loyola University, Loyola Presidential Scholarship, Catholic Heritage Award. Jacob Brian Gimble, Heartland Community College, Baseball Athletic Scholarship. Cassandra Rose Gorski, University of Missouri, Mark Twain Award Level 1. Jose Miguel Granados, DuPage Col Community College, Baseball Athletic Scholarship. Cassidy Elizabeth Gray, New York University, Mr. and Mrs. Frederick W. Schmidt, Sr. and Mini Kuhn Scholarship. Hiram John Grigsby III, the Citadel Military College of South Carolina, Football Athletic Scholarship. Madison Marie Gura, Valparaiso University, Board of Directors Scholarship, Alumni Award. Katherine Isabel Hamill, Purdue University, Purdue's Presidential Scholarship. Lillian Tyann Hardy, Joliet Junior College. Natalie Susan Hatfield, 
Xavier University, Xavier University Merit Scholarship. Aiden Reed Hayes, University of Tennessee, Baseball Athletic Scholarship. Maura Kathleen Hibner, St. Norbert University, Trustee Distinguished Scholarship. Michael Joseph Hobbs, University of Dayton. University of Dayton Trustee Scholarship, UD Commitment to Catholic Education Scholarship. Christian Seth Holman, Southern Illinois University Edwardsville, Cougar Pride Scholarship, Haley Scholarship. Jessica Marie Horn, Gardner Webb University, Volleyball Athletic Scholarship, Ignite Excellence Scholarship. Maximus Creed Hervatan, Lindenwood University Football Athletic Scholarship. Reese Gwendolyn Huditz, University of Arizona. Dylan Morris Johnson, University of Wisconsin Madison, Football Athletic Scholarship, Wrestling Athletic Scholarship. Lillian Joy Jungles, University of Illinois at Urbana Champaign. Will County Farm Bureau Foundation Scholarship. Olivia Christine Carnezes, Florida Atlantic University, Florida Atlantic Academic Scholarship. Matthew Gregory Castle, University of Tampa. Edward Keegan, Joliet Junior College. Jack Aiden Kelly, University of Kansas, KU Performance Scholarship. Cameron Lorraine Kinsella, Truman University, Softball Athletic Scholarship, True Merit Scholarship, President's Honorary Scholarship, True Opportunity Scholarship, Illinois Coaches Association Scholarship. Logan Patrick Kinsella. Grace Lorraine Corbar, Florida Atlantic University, Spirit of Atlantic Scholarship. Emily Irene Krause, North Central College, North Central Presidential Scholarship. Olivia Rose La Montana, Aquinas College Merit Scholarship, Catholic High School Scholarship, Visit Incentive Scholarship. Maya Avery Magadan, Joliet Junior College. Ariana Kai Martinez, Loyola University Chicago, Regents Scholarship, Catholic Heritage Award. Elizabeth Marie Martinez, University of St. Francis Presidential Scholarship, Founders Award, Catholic School Scholarship. Brady Thomas McEwen, Roosevelt University Football Athletic Scholarship, Merit Scholarship. Jacob Ryan Mutters, Lewis University Trustee Scholarship, Catholic High School Scholarship. Sophia Susan Mohalic, Xavier University XU Tuition Exchange Award. Jack Miesko Mobert, University of Illinois at Urbana Champaign. Camille Piotra Motica, Indiana University. Andres Rene Munoz, Texas Christian University, TCU Frog Family Scholarship, The Vision Scholarship. Ashley Victoria Murray, University of Tennessee, Tennessee Explorer Scholarship. 
Alex James Nahas, University of Iowa National Scholars Award. Connor Douglas Neville, Purdue University Plainfield Township Youth Excellence Scholarship, Shorewood Hugs Scholarship, Richard L. Chavez Kiwanis Key Club Scholarship, Mr. and Mrs. Frederick W. Schmidt Sr. and Minnie Kuhn Scholarship. Olivia Armani Newell, Olivet Nazarene University Academic Scholarship. Nathan Thomas Novak, Miami University, Ohio, Red Hawk Excellence Scholarship. John Matthew O'Brien, Lewis University. Connor Patrick O'Donnell, University of Iowa, ROTC Air Force. Adesolo Ayoulua Olu Ajebe, Indiana State University. Alec Logan Osborne, Joliet Junior College. Jack Christopher Oswald, University of Chicago, Mr. and Mrs. Frederick W. Schmidt, Sr. and, Min and Minnie Kuhn Scholarship. Juliet Rose Parenti, Grand Canyon University, Provost Scholarship, Priority Registration Award, CCSC Scholarship. Ava Maria Passell, Joliet Junior College. Madison Grace Patrick, University of Tampa Presidential Merit Scholarship. Samantha Joe Patrick, University of Tampa Presidential Merit Scholarship. Tristan David Paul, Purdue University. Nicholas Alexander Paz. Nicholas Michael Peter, Joliet Junior College. Travis Russell Peterson, Georgia Southern University. Faith Isabel Pietras, Radford University, Highlander Distinction Scholarship, Soccer Athletic Scholarship, Father Norman G. Whirling Scholarship. James Domingo Palapo, Illinois Institute of Technology, Healed Scholarship, Emerging Campus Leader Scholarship, Housing Scholarship. Mia Ann Puglisi, Aurora University. Angelina Francesca Puleo, University of St. Francis Presidential Scholarship, Catholic School Scholarship, Dean Scholarship, Founders Award. Mitchell Richard Ragusa, University of North Dakota. Eric Ramos Lorenzo, University of St. Francis Presidential Scholarship, Founders Award, Catholic School Scholarship, Dean Scholarship. Madison Laura Rangel, University of Tampa. Audrey Rose Riddell, University of Missouri, Mark Twain Award Level One. Jordan Nicole Reeves, University of Kentucky Bluegrass Spirit Scholarship, Shorewood Hug Scholarship, Mr. and Mrs. Frederick W. Schmidt, Sr. and Minnie Kuhn Scholarship. Alex John Rodriguez, University of Tampa Presidential Merit Scholarship. Jason Rodriguez Romo, Joliet Junior College.
Graham Thomas Roselle, University of Missouri, Mark Twain Award, Level 1. John Richard Ryan, Benedictine University, Academic Scholar, Catholic High School Scholarship. Thomas Jeffrey Raza, Butler University, Academic Scholarship. Adrian Tesoro Sarte, Lewis University, Presidential Scholarship, Catholic High School Scholarship. Alana Nicolette Schertz, University of Notre Dame, Provost Scholarship, University Scholarship, Miracle League Scholarship, Elks Most Valuable Student Scholarship, Notre Dame Club of Joliet Scholarship, Father Norman G. Whirling Scholarship. Layla Ann Sabahar, Chicago School of Phlebotomy. Leighton Michael Senko, Joliet Junior College, JJC Foundation Scholarship for Outstanding Graduates of District High Schools. Tai Nguyen Sasta, Roosevelt University Football Athletic Scholarship Merit Scholarship. Matthew Adam Soika, Central Michigan University. Jacqueline Eileen Starry, Texas Christian University, Faculty Scholarship, Equestrian Athletic Scholarship. Grace Catherine Stranowski, Joliet Junior College. Robert Anthony Stranowski, Lewis University. Callie Campbell Streitz, Miami University, Ohio, Red Hawk Excellence Scholarship. Kaylee Cameron Stuckwish, Purdue University. Jackson Eric Theobald, Joliet Junior College. Annie Elizabeth Tibbet, University of Kansas KU Excellence Scholarship. Jonathan Frank Tonelli, Joliet Junior College. Marco Antonio Torrens, DePaul University, Vincentian Award. Alyssa Marie Troja, University of Missouri, Mark Twain Award, Level 1. Jake Matthew Troiner, University of Illinois Chicago, Joliet Region Chamber of Commerce Education Scholarship, Baseball Athletic Scholarship. Sydney Marie Walker, University of Kentucky Bluegrass Spirit Scholarship, William C. Parker Scholarship. Owen Michael Weirs, University of Oklahoma, University Scholarship. Lane Elizabeth Wilhelmi, University of Kentucky, Bluegrass Spirit Scholarship. Margaret Ann Williams, Western Kentucky University, Academic Merit Scholarship, Border State Scholar. Sarah Alicia Williams, Marquette University, Magis Campus Resident Scholarship, Pierre Marquette Scholarship. Drew Allen Wills, North Central College Presidential Scholarship, Presidential Housing Scholarship, Alumni Scholarship. Lauren Barbara Wright, Carthage College Founder Scholarship, Carthage Endowed Scholarship. Daniel Richard Robluski, Loris College, Loris Opportunity Grant. Elijah Joseph Zielinski, Lewis University Dean Scholarship, Catholic High School Scholarship. Olivia Therese Zielinski, St. Norbert College Trustee Distinguished Scholarship. Emerson Kate Ziesmer, University of Iowa National Scholars Award.
Congrat congratulations, graduates. At this time, at this time, I ask the class senior president, Annie Tibbet, step forward for the turning of tassels. Again, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the class of 2024. At this time, I ask that Mr. and Mrs. Michael Murray, together with their daughter, Ashley, to step forward to lead us in the blessing of our graduates and our parents. Parents of graduates, please stand and join us as we recite the prayer for our graduates. God has loved us through you. May the God of peace continue to bless and enlighten you. And for you have been called to be the people of the gospel. Today, you respond to God's gift of grace with justice, service, and kindness. May the Holy Spirit strengthen you to live with courage and understanding. We, your parents, Pray that your life's journey will be filled with many blessings through Christ our Lord. Amen. Graduates, please rise and join me as we recite the prayer over our prayers over our parents in our booklets. May our loving God bless you with every good gift. You have cleared the paths of our lives with the beauty of your devotion. Through patience and trust, offered from a knowing heart, you have brought us to this moment of grace. As you have shared life and love with us, may you receive a double portion of the Spirit of God. Amen. You may sit, graduates. Thank you, Murray family. Father Carl Markels will now lead us in our benediction. So let us bow our heads. Gracious and loving God, we ask you for your loving and marvelous presence to be upon our graduates as they and their families celebrate this magnificent milestone. On this Pentecost Sunday, may the presence of the Holy Spirit bring all of you wisdom, knowledge, comfort, and fortitude. May you find comfort from our community's continued embrace and support you as you journey through life. May you find strength in the excellence of your academic preparation and strength through your extracurriculars that have led you to intellectual, physical, and spiritual growth. Bless the lives from this day on with goodness and success. Enable them to stay true to their dreams for your greater glory, to discern what is right, good, and just, and to use your gifts wisely in the service of others. Empower each of our graduates to walk into the future with faith, hope, and love, guided by your light and by the Franciscan and Carmelite values they have learned here at JCA. May God continue to bless all of you through Jesus Christ and in the Holy Spirit. Our Lady of Mount Carmel, pray for us. St. Francis of Assisi, pray for us. Thank you, Father Carl. This concludes our commencement ceremony. I would ask that you please remain in your places until the administration, followed by the faculty and staff and students, process out of the activity center. Thank you for celebrating with us. Congratulations, and have a wonderful afternoon.